Hello, I am in my kitchen and in the kitchen you can learn a lot about heat transfers. So today I've got two trays of roughly the same surface area but one is made of metal and the other one is made of plastic. So what is the difference between the two? If I put my hand on each tray for example, which one do you think would feel colder? Well, obviously the metal tray will feel colder, but is it actually colder than the plastic tray? Well, they both have been in this room for hours, so they both reach the same temperature as the room, roughly 20-21 degrees. However, the metal tray still feels colder. Hold that thought, because we'll come back to the reason for that in a short while. Meanwhile, I've got another experiment for you and uh, what I'm going to do is to put a little bit of uh, ice cream on both trays, like so. So, which one do you think is going to melt first? Will it be the ice cream on top of the metal tray or the ice cream on top of the plastic tray? Let's have a look. As you can see, after only a few minutes, the metal tray has almost melted completely the um, lump of ice cream and it's formed a, a small puddle around uh, the ice cream whereas uh, here on the plastic tray the ice cream is still pretty much intact and there is a much much smaller puddle um, on uh, the tray but why does that happen? well the metal tray has many free electrons they are delocalized electrons in other words electrons that are not bound to any particular atom in the metal structure and this allows them to move very quickly from one part of the metal to another part of the metal so when the ice cream which is a colder object is placed in the middle of the tray free electrons from further away will rush in to the part of the metal that are in contact with the ice cream they will pass their kinetic energy to the molecules of ice cream which will contribute to the ice cream melting very quickly but on the plastic tray there are no free electrons therefore the heat transfers by conduction will happen much more slowly and remember that uh, heat transfers always from warmer regions to colder regions so when I put my hand on top of the tray, the feeling of cold that I was feeling was because uh, energy was transferred from my hand into the metal tray because my hand is at a higher temperature than the, than the metal tray. Therefore energy was transferring from my warmer hand into the colder metal. And the free electrons were very efficient at doing that and transferring the energy from my hand whereas on the plastic tray my hand felt a lot uh, warmer because in the absence of uh, free electrons the heat transfer between my hand and the tray was at a lower rate so I think I've got quite a bit of cleaning up to do and a lot of ice cream to eat so thank you for watching and uh, goodbye